Hello everyone, it's your host, Get Good Fox, and I've got some State of Decay 2 news for you. I'm going to be condensing the second major Undead Lab stream on January 24th. Major is in at least one hour long, into about, oh, five minutes. The stream regarded new State of Decay 2 merchandise, as well as more questions and answers to changes regarding the upcoming infestation and siege mechanics. First, let's quickly talk about the merchandise. I will be showing it on screen, so take a quick look. There are mugs, a State of Decay 2 logo mug, a Fork in the Road diner mug. There are Fork in the Road coasters to match the mugs, Fork in the Road mouse pad. There are also shirts, State of Decay 2 logo shirts in different colors, a Bronto gas shirt, a Red Talon shirt, and a Red Talon hoodie. The shirts and the hoodies are 100% cotton. They said they will ship overseas. Obviously, some limitations may exist. And the designs, the colors, the shapes, etc., they may change before they go live on the store, meaning you can't buy them just yet. Anyways, let's move on to the infestation and siege changes. Some of these changes are going now into the PTR, the public test realm, exclusive to Steam right now. And some of them are their plans for future changes before the update for infestation and sieges goes totally live. So, first up, when the game reaches its infestation population cap, that is the maximum amount of infestations the game permits on the map, whenever they finish their progress towards either upgrading or spreading, they will now default to the behavior of sending an infestation horde to your base in an attempt to cause a siege. In addition to this, said infestation hordes heading to your base will now trigger a siege as soon as they get to the edge of your base's safe zone before, what they had to do was make it to the center of your base, which will make it much easier for them to trigger sieges. In addition to that, Undead Labs have plans, it's not implemented yet, to add bloaters into infestation hordes in order to prevent people from just easily running the infestation hordes down in vehicles. Infestation hordes will now try to populate the area around the closest infestation to your base. Before, they would get confused and then they might just randomly infest buildings. Now they're going to be heavily incentivized to infest local buildings near the closest infestation to your base. Infestation growth speed and upgrade speed is also going to be changed. First, the noise in your base, the noisier it is, will cause infestations to speed up. The total number of infestations active at the same time on your map will cause them to speed up. And plague hearts will also cause infestations to speed up, but not the total of plague hearts, rather the amount of plague hearts killed. The more plague hearts you kill, the faster the infestations will get. Undead Labs also has plans in the future to have infestation speeds be related to difficulties where higher difficulties will cause infestations to upgrade and spread faster. Another interesting tidbit is that Undead Labs hinted to, they did not confirm this, but they hinted to the idea that the Haven device may lose its ability to block sieges in order to make sieges more interesting, and it will help you in other ways. There are also plans down the road to take the current noise slash threat mechanics and separate them into two individual mechanics. What this will mean is that noise will be its own separate mechanic that increases the growth speed of infestations, and then threat will also be its own separate mechanic, which will determine the size and the difficulty of sieges when they successfully activate on your base. They also mentioned, lastly, that the infestation hordes also have a population limit. So if things are getting absolutely out of control, there is still a limit to how many of these infestation hordes can be on the map at the same time. Anyways, there you go. A one-hour stream condensed into something very short and digestible. What do you think about infestation and siege changes? Let me know down in the comment section. And are you interested in State of Decay 2 merchandise? Once again, let me know down in the comment section. Now, what does this mean for the channel, though? You may be interested in knowing that I'm going to be running two Lethal Zone seasons at the same time. Two separate save files, one on YouTube, one on Twitch. Separate save files, separate progressions. Both of them will be in the beta of the State of Decay 2 on the PTR, the public test realm, so that we can see just what to expect from the infestation and siege mechanics on the highest difficulty. The progression will be separate, so there will be 
be a reason to watch on both platforms. Anyways, that's the news for you today. Like the video if it was interesting. Subscribe for future State of Decay 2 content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.